OS Login is a compute engine service that provides an easy way to manage user permissions for accessing instances via SSH using Compute Engine IIM roles. However, having multiple roles on different resource levels can make it confusing to figure out access issues. Let's take a look at how to investigate SSH access issues with OS Login and the IIM Policy Troubleshooter. First, let's review a few different roles for users to use OS Login. Compute.OSAdminLogin allows the user to SSH into the instance as an administrator, while Compute.OSLogin allows them to SSH in as a regular user. The IIM.ServiceAccount user role allows a user to run operations as a service account. These roles can be granted at the project level, so they can apply to resources inside that project. They can also be granted at a more granular level, such as an instance or a service account directly. Let's walk through an example. We'll start by trying to SSH into My Instance 1. On the Instances Details page, we can see the service account for this instance. At the top of the page, the SSH button will let us connect to the instance, so let's go ahead and click it. Looks like everything is working well. Now, let's try the same thing with My Instance 2. We'll head over to the Instance Details page from the main menu. This instance is also running the same service account, but when we scroll up to the SSH option, it's grayed out. That's strange. Let's try it from the command line instead by using the Cloud Shell terminal and running gcloud compute SSH. We get a permission denied error, which explains why the SSH button was grayed out. But without any other details, how can we figure out why we don't have permission? Let's evaluate the permissions required in the policy troubleshooter. We can evaluate multiple permissions on multiple resources at the same time, so that we can compare the results of each. Let's check for the compute.instances.oslogin permission on My Instance 1 and My Instance 2. This permission comes from the roles that we mentioned earlier. We'll add our user as the principal and add the full resource name and permission. Also, since these instances are running as a service account, we can check for the iam.serviceaccounts.actas permission on the actual service account. The permission is part of the service account user role. The policy troubleshooter shows us details on the permissions for our users. We can change between our views by using the drop down here. The first view shows us that OS login is granted to my instance one, and we can see the specific details here on the right. When we switch the view over to My Instance 2, we can see that our user doesn't have the same permissions. Since the user doesn't have the right permissions, they can't connect through SSH. Let's add our user by going to the Compute Engine page. From here, we can select the instance and grant our user the compute.os login role. Now that we can see the user has the role, let's try connecting through SSH again. Once that's done, we can see that the user is now able to SSH in. Another option would be to grant the user compute.oslogin at the project level, which would allow them to use OS login for all instances in the project. Keep in mind the security best practice of least privilege and set your permissions accordingly. Take a look at the documentation to read more about Policy Troubleshooter.